This is my long-term review of the Olight i3e EOS. The Olight i3e EOS is the smallest light that Olight makes. It just weighs 0.68 ounces. It comes in at a total length of 2.38 inches long and 0.49 inches wide. It does take a single AAA battery and it has a twist cap to turn it on and off as well as to remove the cap and replace the battery. This light has a beam distance of 44 meters and I find it more than adequate on trail when working around camp and needing to do camp chores as well as night hiking. I've had a lot of experience with this. You can see that there's quite a bit of wear on the finish of the light. Um, it's worked out really well for me and uh, it was one of my favorite go-to lights for a lot of, uh, long time. This light does have an anodized aluminum body, um, black finish. There are multiple finishes that you can get this light in. Um, it is IPX8 waterproof up to six and a half feet. It is impact resistant, and I have chosen to put the optional hat or belt clip on the light. When you order this belt clip, it does have to be ordered separately from the light, and it is designed to only fit on the bottom of the light and carry the light in the downward facing mode. The difference in size from the area where the clip actually attaches to the light and where I have this clip attached to the light, uh, this is much of a wider space here. So what I did when I got the clip is I actually sanded it down uh, on my belt sander to be able to attach it just below the head of the light there. And that way I could reverse the orientation of that clip and use it to clip to the front of my hat so that it would work as a headlamp as well. Um, although I do have that functionality when I am night hiking, I, I do like to carry it in my hand kind of down by my side to cast a long shadow behind any kind of rocks or roots. That way I can see them much more easily than if I were to have it attached to my uh, hat and have to continuously look down to be able to illuminate hazards or obstacles on the ground. The light beam that this light throws is a very wide, broad light beam and it does have a center hot spot for its most powerful illumination. Uh, it's per perfect for close-up uh, illuminating for small chores around camp, uh, as well as uh, tending to a fire or uh, moving in and out of your tent throughout the night. Uh, but like I said, I have had a lot of experience and a lot of success with it uh, using this light for night hiking as well. All right, that was my look at the Olight i3e EOS. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the box below. Thank you for watching.